Hello and welcome to this edition of Credit Matters TV. My name is Jackson Griffith, Analytical Manager here at Standard & Poor's. Today we're going to be talking about recent results from the fifth Quiz 5 study for the Solvency 2 Directive and some of the uncertainties that have come from that. I'm delighted to be joined today by Miroslav Petkov, one of our senior European analysts, to talk about a recent report entitled Solvency 2 Implementation Looms, but Insurers Still Face Uncertainty. Welcome, Miroslav. Uh, can you start by giving us an insight into some of the results from this Quiz 5 analysis? The Quiz 5 uh, showed that the industry as a whole um, has a quite healthy uh, coverage of the uh, solvency capital requirements at 165%. But um, across different insurers, the picture is quite different. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, 50% of the insurers who participated in the study uh, we won't, be, won't be able to meet the service capital requirements. Mm -hmm. And 5% uh, we won't, won't be able to meet the minimum capital requirements. And um, we expect that insurers will want to maintain a buffer about the service capital requirements and probably uh, more than 20%. Uh, and, uh, Based on the Quiz 5 results, the further 8%, which won't be able to meet that buff of 20%. So, in total, there could be something like a quarter of the European insurers whose capital position may be challenged uh, under Solvency 2, mm -hmm. and they may need to, to take some actions to address that. And some, what are some of those specific actions that the insurance can, the companies can uh, take to, to address these capital issues? I mean, there are a wide range of actions. Uh, well, probably one of the most expected one is that the Somers 2 will lead to consolidation of the industry mm -hmm. and the stronger insurance will acquire some of the weaker insurers, uh, but also insurers could decide to reposition them strategically and to move away from the more capital intensive lines to, uh, to less capital intensive lines uh, or to de-risk the balance sheet, mm -hmm. to adopt uh, less risky investment policies, to um, transfer some of the risk to reinsurance or via derivatives. Mm -hmm. yep. um, uh, but um, the question is with uh, Omnibus 2, which uh, the proposed Omnibus 2, if, uh, if it is adopted and, and if the traditional measures uh, proposed there are adopted, uh, this may delay the, the actions which the industry may need to take. Uh, we'll see what happens with, with Omnibus 2. Okay. And are there any other key issues that are raised uh, by these by these uh, Quiz results? The Quiz 5, again, underlined the fact that some is two framework is quite complex framework, mm -hmm. and some insurers had difficulties in performing some of the calculations or performing some of the parts of the of the exercise. Um, also, because of the complexity of the framework, uh, it um, it could be <coughs> interpreted differently by different insurers which could lead to inconsistency how the framework is applied and uh, what, what this will mean for different insurers in different countries. Mm. And what do you think this means for the overall Solvency 2 framework? What happens next? Um, Quiz 5 was just uh, kind of a study of one calibration uh, mm. of, the, uh, of the standard formula. Uh, it's not the final calibration. EOPA is working on refining the calibration of some of the of some of the risks, in particular for non-life risks and for the uh, catastrophe risk, non-life catastrophe risks. The expectation is that uh, this will lead to lower capital requirements and possibly to simplification of the calculations, in particular for the catastrophe risk. Obviously, the industry will welcome any changes which will lead to lower capital requirements, mm -hmm. but at the same time, um, this will prolong the uncertainty in terms of what the Solvency 2 framework will look like, what the final capital requirements will be, and therefore uh, the companies will, uh, this may uh, lead to companies uh, delaying some of the actions they need to take to address the challenges presented by Solvency yeah. 2. Great. That's great. Thanks very much for your insight, Miroslav. Thank you. Thank you.